Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the VT tutorial for the learning lab on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning some uh, operators, you know, which uh, I should have explained in the previous tutorial, but you know, I haven't. That's why I made this tutorial to explain them. All right. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the modulus operator, which is used to get the reminder of a division operation. And then we're going to learn some shorthand operators, which are commonly used in programming. For example, um, plus equal to minus equal to uh, multiplication equal to divide equal to then uh, mod equal to all right let's begin so first we're gonna learn about this modulus operator so this modulus operator is used to get the reminder of a division operation so the operator is this percentage symbol so when we use this modulus operator, you know, we get the remainder. So let's see how to use it in our program. So just for the demonstration purpose, what uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to create two variables, uh, which is of type integers and I'm going to call it as num1 and I'm going to initialize this one to a value of 20 and then I'm going to create another variable called num2 and I'm going to initialize this to a value of 10. So the next thing that uh, we're going to do is we're going to use this modulus operator and print out the reminder value which, which is received from that operation. So I'm going to use a cout. Then uh, we need to do the modulus operator which is num1 mod num2. So that's it. I'm going to save this program. Go to build, build and run. You guys can see here the result is zero and if i change this value for example let's say uh, this one to a value of three then if i build and run this you guys can see here the value is two so when we use this modulus operator with this num1 and num2 what's gonna happen is it's gonna do num1 divided by num2 and uh, there will be some values here and whatever value we get the remainder here will be obtained from this operation here what happens is 20 by 3 so 6 it's gonna be 18 here and the reminder is 2 so this is how you guys can use the modulus operator all right the next thing is about some shorthands which are very normally used in programming and they are the plus equal to minus equal to multiply equal to divide equal to and uh, modulus equal to so which is nothing but let's say here in this operation we want to add num1 plus num2 and we want to store the result in num1 so what we can do is num1 equal to num1 plus num2 so this is what we can write to get num1 plus num2 and to store that one in our num1. So if we use this shorthand operator plus equal to then what we can write is num1 plus equal to num2. So it's gonna reduce some typing time. So we can say that this num1 plus equal to num2 is equal to num1 equal to num1 plus num2 all right so just to demonstrate it i'm gonna uh, print out the value and i'm gonna remove the previous statement and it's gonna be c out num1 i'm gonna save this uh, build build and run all right 23 and similarly if we use this minus equal to then it's gonna be num1 equal to num1 minus num2 uh, build and run you know 17 and similarly for multiplication you know num1 star equal to num2 build it save it build and run 60 and similarly for you know division so it's gonna be num1 equal to num1 divide by num2 and uh, build and run this we're gonna get the value of 6 and similarly mod equal to so which is nothing but num1 equal to num1 mod num2 so the num1 is going to contain the value of 2 you know after this operation i'm going to build and run this all right this is it 
so this is it guys this is about the modulus and some uh, shorthands which are normally used in programming thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to put a comment in the video and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial